Ahoy there, my name's Beth, and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, the lifting gear's in place, but does it work? So we're here back out on deck again, and um, Today I'm going to try and get the uh, the mast up. It's a bit of a nerve-wracking time. Um, I've got some uh, some friends, neighbours, uh, coming to give me a hand. But uh, yeah, I just need to kind of check everything a few times. I also need to get a bit of chain for the uh, the bowsprit, and uh, uh, yeah, so I can rig that up with a couple of shackles. So when the forestay comes out, I can attach the forestay onto something, and that'll secure it all. Then I'll put the block in. Uh, which I'll show you in two course um, and then uh, then it should all be stable so um so yeah there's a couple of things I need to do first I need to run a, um, a bit of I've only got a bit of paracord um, for the uh, flag halyard uh, there's like one spreader there used to be two spreaders but I think one snapped off uh, so I'm going to put a, a bit of cord up for there and that's the thing I'm going to hoist the uh, my flag up usually but at the moment I'm going to hoist the, um, the the Christmas lights on another piece of cord so uh, so yeah so I need to get things about a bit ready so I need to have a couple of people to be able to winch this um, also I need to have somebody else on the uh, brake um, and then if there's um, if there's someone to uh, to kind of secure or to hold this uh, the, the sheer legs then uh, while I'm rigging everything up that's great as well but it can be the person so um so I think yeah one person on brake two people on this so they can you can take we can take turns and uh, and yeah it should be okay You also might be able to see that the uh, the entire basin is frozen still. Um, it's frozen. Uh, it froze in 2021 uh, or 2020 to 2021. It didn't freeze uh, in. No, it froze in yeah 2021 to 2020 to 21. It froze then. It didn't freeze 21 to 22, but it has frozen 22 to 23. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to get a bit more milder this weekend, and uh, and also rain a lot. So, uh, so I think this is probably going to go. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of weird when the um, when the uh, when the basin freezes over, because you can actually hear people walking around all over the place. Um, usually, it would be uh, you know just when someone walks past, you can just about hear, oh, although not much. Um, but but yeah, when someone's walking around, the pontines move and they shift in the uh, they're shifting the ice, which is kind of echoing through. So, uh, so yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of cool, but I, I don't know. I'm in like two minds about whether I think it's kind of cool. Or also, I think it's like I'm just over it and I want it to, to thaw. It's, there's kind of two things. <laughs> but luckily, I don't need to go anywhere. So that's that's helpful. Thank <laughs> you. 
So these clamps, I need uh, needed to have uh, to uh, to maintain the the strength of this uh, this cable, this rope. I needed to have four clamps, and they all need to be tightened to nine n newton meters. It's easy for me to say nine newton meters. Um, and that means that they are tight enough to not let, let the cable strip it slip um, but actually uh, um, not too tight that it would damage the cable so I've got my uh, tor torque wrench here it's not a very good one it's really for bicycles but um, but it does the trick so I can just go around so the uh, the, the the wrench itself will uh, will turn but it clicks uh, when it uh, when it's actually up to nine newton meters um, so then I know how much I've done my dad had um, had a, a torque wrench which had a big needle on the back and then it get a card on the front so as you uh, as you bent the handle by putting the applying force the needle would stay still and it would point at the right thing but he didn't need to use it he had his torque wrench was just a regular wrench and he used to be able to torque stuff up to absolutely spot on the right torque without any meter at all if he tightened something to like 20 newton meters you put the torque wrench on it was 20 newton meters it comes from a year a year a lifetime being an engineer
Right, I've got the start of some tension on the drum now and, uh, and the cables are starting to lift now so what I'm going to do by myself is I'm going to lift the legs up until they're in that position uh, and then kind of ready to, to go to the next stage but uh, but boy, it's, uh, it's nerve wracking stuff I tell you I think I'm shaking a bit actually it's, uh, it's been like uh, months of uh, thinking and planning and making cables and uh, sourcing the winch from uh, from Holland and getting that installed and uh, getting the deck fittings installed, working out all this stuff, designing the legs, work where they're going to go on the boat. It's been a huge amount of work just on this kind of one small moment. <sighs> I hope it's not a massive failure. So for the first time I've got a bit of tension on the system now so it's uh, it's not enough to start lifting the mast it's still going to be quite a bit of uh, bit of effort especially just to kind of get it going uh, once it's lifting up it should be okay but um but yeah so I've got a bit of uh, bit of tension on and I'm quite happy with where the cables are going so uh, I've got this one from the deck which is going up to that block and then back down this one and it's going round the bottom block and then it's going back up here and then this one on the top is going to the winch now I, uh, I kind of laced it if you like uh, on the, the top winch here from bottom to top so that this one was going to have a, enough uh, space to get into the winch and it's actually not too bad um, when we tried it with the rope uh, uh, in the yard it was actually quite uh, into the winch but I think uh, we've got a little bit more on the winch on the drum got more, a bit more of the cable and uh, and so it will when the when the block comes further down it's going to lift that up a little bit so it might touch a little bit but i think it's going to be okay so yeah so that is that is the, the system ready to go really uh we're ready to lift so um so i've got some uh, some friends coming to help me uh, at some point so we're gonna see we're gonna have a look uh, it looks like it's going to be warmer tomorrow, but then it might be raining and stuff. So, um, so we'll just have to have to have a look. But I think, yeah. So we're kind of we're just primed and ready. Uh, so yeah, it's good. It's good. Another step forwards.
well it was really hard work really hard work actually um but we did it um so we've calculated the legs lifting about a ton but i think they need to be a little bit longer um so we can do that in the long term it means it's much easier to lift up and uh, and take that down again <sighs> anyway anything i say now is just rambling because um this has been this is a milestone it's a real milestone because when i bought the boat she was a sailing barge and she had a mast which stood up and uh, and she had all the rigging and everything and then through the last two years i've uh, i've dismantled parts of uh, cut the roof off we put the roof back on again and uh, designed all this new mast system and it's it's worked it's working um I don't know. I don't think there's much more I can say about that. It's been a huge amount of work, a huge amount of work, like the most work of anything I've done in my life. Uh, and that includes renovating a house. Uh, we're not finished yet, but by heck, I'm going to celebrate tonight. Just been in to put my phone down below because uh, if I fall into the water, I don't want to take my phone in with me. It'll be bad enough anyway. It's freezing rain, it's freezing cold, and it's wet now as well. Uh, so my gloves are wet, and uh, now my bum is wet because I've been sitting on that. Uh, God, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to drop it down again and then I'm going to start to clip on the lights. So each of the lights have these clips on so I can clip them onto the line. So I'm going to start doing that now. to that piece of uh, piece of cord and then we'll hopefully lift everything up So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for spending this year with me. It's been a year of um, some great progress, but we've got another year ahead of us, I think, to get it all finished, or at least comfortable. Um, so before I go, uh, there's a couple more names from the book. Um, these are people that bought me a coffee from the link down below. So I'd like to say thank you to Carl, to Steve and to Jenna. Thank you for your kind words and your kind donations, which all goes into the boat and helps make this video. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, 
it's been a, a really positive week. Um, we finally got the mast up after a huge amount of effort. Um, and it seems like, it feels like a real milestone. This was, the mast being, um, being lowered and being taken off the boat was one of the first things that happened when we went into the yard uh, back in 2021, um, in the summer of 2021. So it's been, uh, it's a real milestone to get that back up again. So yeah, I'm really pleased. And, uh, and I, um, between you and me, I've spent a huge amount of time actually getting the Christmas lights sorted on the mast as well. But next year, I'm going to have that dialed in, so that'll be a much easier prospect. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm about to uh, about to have my uh, Christmas break, um, and. Uh, I think um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, to skip the next two weeks videos uh, I hope that's okay with you um, and we'll get together back again on the 13th of January that gives me a chance to have a bit of time with my family over Christmas um, and then uh, and then get some more um, uh, shooting done some more um, some more recording done um, and then I can get it out to you but the next jobs are to start to look at the electrical so that that two weeks it'll give me a chance to plan all the circuit diagrams and get everything sorted for that so um so yeah um again it's been an amazing year um thanks to everyone who's bought me a coffee who are now in the uh, the guest book which will stay in the uh, in the ship's records um and thanks for everybody who's watched thanks to everyone who's commented um thanks to all of you who supported me all the way it's been um it's been a really amazing experience to do these videos for me um to uh, to uh, get involved in a little community with you all so um so thank you that's all i can say I hope wherever you are, you have a, a very Merry Christmas or Yule or festival or winter or whatever you celebrate. Um, but I hope you're safe and you're warm and, uh, and we'll get together on the 13th of January and we'll crack on with the boat. I'll see you then.